Morning, folks. This was handed to me. It is uh, my son's wife's sister's daughter. There you go. Got that in one. Samsung, very old. They don't really want to spend a lot of money because nowadays the way it is at the moment, they haven't got a lot of money. A lot of us haven't got any money. So it's a Samsung R519. Running extremely slow. It's just it's an Intel. I don't even know what it is. Intel Pentium something or other. It's on Windows 7. That doesn't matter. So we're going to do the most fastest upgrade in the West, I think, just to get this back up and running. So first thing will be hard drive. So just whip this out. You can see that. Just my hands aren't in the way. There we go. Slide forward. Here we go. This is the hard drive. Let me zoom in a bit. Actually, I'll zoom a little bit more for you so you can see that how they're connected. Because uh, here we go. Is that all right. So these are the most simple ones, they just push in, same as the, what's the other one, we've got some aces that do the same. And there we go, so I'm going to take the outer casing off, two screws, one there and one there. Bring you back out again, and we'll do the hard drive first, so. This is going to be a really cheap one. It's going to cost them nothing. Being in the note. Oh, someone's had to go at this before and there's a bit of the old thread on that. Look. Slightly better screwdriver. There we go. So, if you take the hard drive out, if you look at the way you take the hard drive out, and just put the new one back in. So turn it over upside down. SSD. It's only 128 gig. She's only using it for word processing, so it'll be fine. Makes a big difference. Are you zoomed in? Are you in focus there? Okay. And that is your first upgrade. So line him up, push him back in, put the case back on, the cover, like so. Two screws back in, first one done. That's the upgrade done on the hard drive, of course. Oh, there's another problem which I'm I They'll have to get. I'll just I'll just put a, a little note with it saying where they can get it from, and that's the battery. If you slide the back two locks there. Slide the battery out, and I think we got some faulty batteries inside. You see that? So I'll just put a link. I'll give them a link to that. Thought I had a spare one, but no, I haven't got one. <clears throat> Right, next will be memory. Oops, my big hands are in the way, sorry. Let me just add a load of this memory just lying around. It's from old laptops, so I never throw anything away. Well, until it gets too bad. Okay. Ah, so look what we've got in there. All right, so I'm going to earth myself. Two gigs, so it looks like it's got I, got... I haven't got anything bigger than this, so she might be just staying with the... Probably four gig in here. Yeah, so... That'll be staying as it is. I can't upgrade that, because that's the biggest I've got anyway. So, there we go. So to be honest with you, that's that's it really. Let's uploading Windows. 
21 pilot must be a group she likes and there you go really it's an old one but it'll do the job let's uh, see if she fires up hold on okay well, no, life. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Samsung. I think about these Samsung, the screens are so clear. Beautiful. So, we just put a USB stick in, which has got Windows 10, 32-bit. See if it'll handle it. Okay, so F2 gets you into the BIOS, and then we've got to go to the boot option. And see if we can find a USB device, and what we're looking at here. Oh, boot device priority. Dun, 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 dun. USB, USB, secure lock. There we go. Now, going to move him up, so it's, it'll be page up or page down. What will it be? Where are we? F5. F6. So I'm going to put that at the top and then we're going to save and exit. So usually you press escape and then go to exit. You can see all that. Yeah. Save, exit, saving changes. Yes. Yes. Let's see if she boots from the USB now. So it was F2 to get into the BIOS. Just wait. It's found it. Oh, and now that little circle to appear. It doesn't on some machines if they're a 32 bit device and you're putting a 64 bit in because it wouldn't work. So, hopefully, I'll bring you back in a sec. And there we go. And then just follow the on-screen instructions and we should be okay. There we go. English United States, the top one you can't alter. Oh, isn't that working? Oh, here's bits of me too. I forgot how slow the machine is. Oh, it looks like the touchpad or the... Um, it's not working. Okay. And that's it. Quickest upgrade. Easiest one to do. There'll be a big difference on the machine speed. You'll notice that. I've got to get some files off the other one. And the other one was the memory. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Following videos coming up over here. Subscribe button, notification bell just at the bottom there on my ugly mug. Take care. And uh, we'll see you in the next vid. I'll just go through this before I finish. Delete all the partitions. Delete everything. That cleans the drive. There we go. Let me just go next. And uh, that's it. Remove the C remove the uh, hard the USB when it's finished. It'll say finishing up. Remove that and you're done. Take care.